We are on board the Muckle TO bound ferry as it crosses from the dock in Clinton to that new ferry terminal. Under the watchful eye of the Muckle TO lighthouse, something new beacons from its shore. A brand new $187 million ferry terminal prepares to welcome its first passengers. So from a safety perspective, yeah, it's going to be better. From a passenger comfort perspective, it'll be better. Um, it'll just be a lot nicer to use. The new terminal will handle more drivers, have earthquake upgrades, overhead loading for walk-ons, and will connect to a new transit center. Ferry spokesperson Ian Sterling says it will also house major environmental upgrades inside and out, taking over the space of an old Air Force fueling pier. It was just full of dilapidated, you know, um, creso pilings, thousands of them. That was what was taken out in order to build this new terminal. Today, ferry captains practice docking at the new terminal, which sits just to the north of the old one, as they bid farewell after 67 years and welcome a long-awaited new home. I talked to somebody when I first started at Washington State Ferries that said that the first paperwork they saw about building a Muckleteo terminal or rebuilding a Muckleteo terminal was 1976. So it sort of tells you that this has been in the works or at least talked about for a very, very long time. And it took a lot of people to get to the point where we're at today. The Muckleteo Clinton run carries more passenger traffic than any other in Puget Sound and more than 4 million passengers every year. On Puget Sound, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.